वेलकम बैक टू मॉड्यूल टू हे साक्षी कैन यू टेल मी समथिंग अबाउट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू वर टॉकिंग अबाउट लास्ट डे या श्योर so as we have discussed i am working in a healthcare department as being a healthcare department we do handle some crucial information as healthcare is something that handles some information about your health that is too confidential that we are we can't share with anyone so are the database which we have in our organization is really confidential and crucial that we just can't afford to lose it we do have certain thing that is really crucial that not afforded to believe so for my security system that we have we do have some lacking over there that is costly to part we do lack somewhere so can you please suggest me something what really i can do to protect my database in a more affordable way hmm okay so come on let's first plan how to secure the things what to secure from whom to secure then how to protect it then uh, performance level you want to protect it and then finally the cost so what to secure the data that is stored in the da- disk or blob or database the services like uh, virtual machine applications and devops tools then resources like a uh, storage account or resource group then subscriptions and identity privileges then possible threats that could happen is that could take place is like deletion of your data or services or resources or the subscription there might be a uh, unauthorized access on your subscriptions or service or data and then there could be an identity breach or some compromised passwords or there could also be an S- injection at your service or somebody could export your data so these are the possible threats that could happen now let's see what azure services actually offers us so we have identity and access management on the on that we have azure active directory then multi factor authentication that you can give then you have role based access control then you have identity protection then you have different app or data protection you can also protect your network and uh, threat protection or security management that you can do it and now let's see one by one that how ca- you can protect the storage the data the network or the different security factors on the from the next module 